This is the story of two poor millionaires. Michael Kimpur grew up herding cows and sleeping in a thatch hut, unaware of the modern world waiting for him over the mountains. It's the story of growing up in a sheltered, wealthy suburb, how he studied at a private Christian school and spent summers at Bible camp. It's a story of famine, missionaries, war, a search for God, and the unexpected consequences of introducing a remote desert village to Christianity. Michael and I are poor millionaires, two lost boys who found each other, and together we both found our way home. I would recommend this book to just about anyone who has a human soul. Sometimes funny, sometimes sad, it is always interesting. Sometimes I was crying and then I was asking, why am I crying? How two people from such different walks of life met each other despite the odds and formed this really unique relationship based on their um, strong sense of social justice. Uh, I reflected in my life and then uh, I saw Mako like a uh, it's me. It's like a, when he was walking in a, in, a, in a desert, having nothing to eat. And then uh, I remembered when I was a kid, we had nothing to eat. And uh, we were walking a long distance to find uh, fetch some water, to, or to collect uh, firewood and other things. And then I was crying and said, oh, I was not alone with other people like Michael. I know firsthand how hard it is to explain third world problems to people in the first world. And this book does an excellent job. Um, in fact, I'm uh, very pleased to have friends who have come to visit us and uh, share the needs and the problems of Pokot. But we know through education, this one will change. I think that we gain a better understanding of where Michael is coming from as he confronts American culture. I would recommend this book to anyone who at one point in their life thought the world was one way, only to discover that it is, in fact, many ways. I learned that disillusionment can be a very productive thing. You know, if the, the person that's finding their beliefs to be kind of crashing up against the world and I learned that the work of missions and bringing God's love to the world is a lot harder and messier and it really takes everything. The problems, the difficulties of helping other people without uh, you know causing problems in the future. I learned that it's important to let your relationships change you. Exactly what it takes to make lasting change in uh, places where they need it the most. Getting to know the community, working with the community, especially having a champion like Michael who is from that community. So that's why this culture sharing, the back and forth between Nathan and Michael in college are easily some of my favorite parts in the book. However, I do have to give you a warning. Learning about Nathan and Michael will change your lives, the way you look at things, and the way you order your priorities in life.